what's up everybody? So today we're gonna to be talking about a 30 day action plan. Now this is something that you can use as a brand new agent, you can use as an existing agent, or you can use if you're basically just kind of in a rut and you really kind of need to get some things going. We're gonna cover three main topics. One is connect, the next one is create, and then the final one where you're really gonna make the money is close. So let's go ahead and dive right into section number one, which is connect. The whole point of anything with real estate is connecting people and building relationships. So I want you to go ahead and get in the mindset of that you need to start changing the way that you look at people and opportunities as to how you can insert yourself and say, hey, how can I help you? How can I be of assistance? How can I provide you value? So that's where connection comes in. And the whole point you're connecting with someone is basically you wanna start establishing a relationship. You're not trying to close them on something, you're just really trying to get something started. So use your friends, use your lenders, and use your insurance people that are local to your area. Just reach out to them, whether that's a call, whether that's stopping by, whether that's just shooting them a Facebook message or even an email, whatever it is, go ahead and reach out to them. Go ahead and get some kind of relationship going, especially if you've never had a connection with them or even if it's an old connection, get something a little bit more professional and say, hey, look, let's say you're a new agent. Be like, hey, I just wanted to reach out. I'm a new agent in the area. I see that you're doing great things. I just wanted to introduce myself. Love to grab a cup of coffee with you or maybe just have a five minute conversation just so I can see how I can help you. Maybe be able to bring you a little bit more business. Don't talk about you. Talk about how you can help them. And then naturally the same conversation is gonna go because they don't know you. It gives them the opportunity to get to know you and then you can actually get something going. Same thing with lenders, title attorneys, all that. Reach out, go sit down with them. They'd love to meet you. They'd love to get a connection going and maybe even sponsor some open houses for you or whatever it may be. Let's say you're an existing agent or in a rut. Same concept. Reach out to your friends, reach out to the lenders, your title attorneys, all them, and say, hey, I just wanted to reach out. You know, how are things going with you guys? Just wanted to check in, see if there's anything that I can do to provide you guys value. Always reach out and try and add value to people. Don't ask them for favors. Try and give the favors because reciprocity will kick in and they'll naturally want to give you business back, especially if you've been helpful. So use that first off. Secondly, you're going to want to tap into your existing database, meaning that do you have friends, family members that are into real estate industry, whatever it may be, go ahead and tap into that database and do the same concept. Reach out. Hey, how you been? Just wanted to check in with you. How's business going? How are your family? How are your friends? Whatever it is, see how you can offer value. Don't ask them for value. See how you can provide it. And then the ways that you can do this, text, email, Facebook, Instagram, or just plain old stop by. Some people might be looking forward to seeing you or other people might have completely forgotten you. Don't worry about it. Just go ahead and put the energy out there and say, hey, look, just wanted to reach out, check in, see how things are going. Open houses, church work, and local hangouts, as well as in-person and online. So I'm gonna kind of cover those real quick. Open houses, if you're an existing agent or brand new agent, ask to do open houses for other people's listings. Say, hey, can I sit in for your open house? This gives you an opportunity to kind of get a feel for how you want to do your vibe, like how you want to show properties, how you want to connect with people, whatever it may be, it kind of gets you going. Same thing if you're in a rut, get back out there, you know, get, in the, get the energy going. If you're in a rut and you're stuck, you don't need to be sitting at home and contemplating stuff on the computer. You need to be out and about making things happen. Take action. Don't just sit back and just contemplate all these things. Action removes doubt. So go ahead and make some moves and actually get some stuff going. Now, when it comes to church and local hangouts, that's what I mean. Like if you go to the gym, if you're in a country club, if you have a local coffee spot, whatever it is, just strike up a conversation. Don't do the same old slogan of, hey, if you know anyone looking to buy or sell, give me a call because I guarantee you they're not going to do it. You just want to have a conversation. Just be like, hey, how's it going? How's business? Just, you know, just asking that and you're going to actually start a conversation and then in the natural conversation, it's likely gonna come up that you're a real estate agent or you can mention the market and they'll be like, oh yeah, you're a real estate agent, right? And then you'll do it, it'll be a less sleazy way. It's kind of more of a passive approach to be able to get that connection going. 
So again, as you can see the main reoccurring theme, ask how you can help them, provide value, and then what you do will naturally come up. And uh, hangouts, the same thing with the gym. I'm not saying go around and wear a realtor t-shirt and goofy things like that. I'm just talking about just make it a point to get out of your shell, have a conversation people that you've at least said hey to, or that you've at least asked to spot you, or that you, you know, the people that check in and check out, you just have a conversation about it. Because next thing you know, when you're coming to the gym, they'll be like, oh, that's that real estate agent. They might have someone in the gym talking about it and they'd be like, oh, I know someone that actually goes here. Let me get you their card because they left it. Something like that. Don't be that sleazy person that always just wants business. Try and build the relationship first. The business will come in person and online. Same thing with this. You can go online, you can make the connection or you can just reach out and about and actually say hey to people. Because most people are scared right now because with this COVID stuff going on, so less people are gonna be out and about. So use online as a way to message, communicate, jump in conversations with people that are actually on Facebook in your local network or you see it, anybody like title attorneys, lenders and those things, jump into those conversations and just have a dialogue. Don't just throw an emoji out there, actually add value to the conversation and then it will naturally connect you and them with good actual thoughts and feelings. They're not going to be like, oh, there's that sleazy agent that always just jumps in and says, hey, if you're looking to buy or sell and post that comment. I hate people that do that. So don't do that crap. Jump in there and add value to the conversation. As you see, reoccurring theme, always add value. So that's when it comes to connecting. That's the whole point. Build the relationship. Create. If you're a brand new agent or even in a rut, the first two or the only two things you should be doing is creating and closing. You need to be creating content and then working on that other content with your existing database or existing leads to actually close them. Create more content, close. Just like this video, it's creating content, it's getting momentum going, and then you close. If people comment on it, reach out for it, then you actually have that conversation and turn it into a valuable relationship and close on it. Create content, close. Two steps, that's all you need to worry about. So what type of content should you create? Well, one, you should be doing videos, you should be doing posts, you should be doing memes, any kind of content that adds value. Don't do the whole, if you buy, build, or sell, call me. Add value. Do a post and make a story out of it. Reflect upon how it made you feel. Don't be all transparent and talk all about your feelings and how this affected you as a child and go into all those crazy, people don't care. People just want to know, oh, that was kind of cool. Oh, that was kind of helpful. People are online because they want to be entertained. So don't do anything that's not really entertaining. Don't act like a clown because you're not someone that doesn't want to be taken professionally, but you want, when people see your content, you want people to want to engage with it, not just see it and scroll past it. So that's a good point for you. Don't always lecture people and tell them what to do. Don't, don't always sit there and just do the same old memes and things like that. Post what you're going through, whether you're doing showings or whether you're doing open houses or whether you're doing something that is share worthy. Not every thought you have is share worthy. So just know that if it's something that's share worthy that someone can take a piece of information away from, do that as the post. Do a little selfie, do a picture with the board, do whatever it is that you're doing and then make a nice long caption about it and do a story about it. Talk about what you're doing, why you're doing it, why it's valuable, the thoughts and things that you plan on getting out of it and then post it and do other little snippets of that and put it on your highlights as well. That is creating content. It's creating things that build momentum. It gives people a reason to think about you that's not just you always going for a close. You're building a digital relationship by doing that. Schedule and process. That's what you need to be creating. You need to create your schedule. You need to create a schedule, whether it's a content schedule, whether it's just your daily schedule. You need to start mapping out how you want your days to look and what you don't want your days to look like. You need to be purposeful in your actions. So write out your schedule, whether it's you saying, I'm gonna create X amount of pieces of content per day or per week or per month. Write that out, 
stick to it. Don't deviate from it. Follow the schedule because that schedule is going to get you through when you don't feel like doing anything. When you're aggravated or, you know, drained or lazy or whatever it is, you can look at your schedule and be like, oh crap, I need to do a video on this today. I need to post this content. I need to call these people because I have it to where I'm going to call X amount of people per day or per week. It will make you do the things when you don't feel like doing them. That's the power of a schedule. Same thing with your process. How are you going to go about doing it? Do you create content in the morning, post it in the afternoon, follow up with people later in the day? Whatever it is, develop your own process. Workflow, same thing kind of with the process. You want to know when, when you get a new listing or when you get a new buyer, what's your process? What do you do? Do you reach out? Do you have a conversation? Do you introduce them to someone? Create your process, create your workflow. And if you're a brand new agent and you don't have one, then don't worry about it that much. When you actually get a deal or two going on, you'll figure out the motions of how you like to work. So if you're brand new, just pay attention to basically everything. Don't go in trying to be pigeonholed and feeling that you have to do something a certain way. Just make sure you get from A to Z and pay attention to all the little moving parts along the way and then see how you, the things you like and the things you don't like and make adjustments. Your next deal you'll do better at this. Your next deal you'll do better at this. You learned a lesson because you made a mistake on one side so now you can fix it on the other side. That's the whole point of your workflow. Buzz and excitement. This is another thing that goes into marketing and branding when it comes to talking about what you're doing and creating content. You want to get people excited about things. You don't want to be boring and sad. You want to talk about your upcoming listing and your upcoming development and the property you just sold for a, a huge amount higher than you thought it was going to, how the market's doing great, how the interest rates are crazy good. Like, all the things that are good and positive, talk about those things. Don't talk about the negative stuff. There's enough of that going on in the world today. Focus on the positive. You want people, when they think of you, they think of positivity. They think of energy. They think of things that they're like, I want to work with that person. That's what you want to put out there. Be happy. Be excited. Stand up. Like, put your energy out there. Like, you want people to watch your stuff and be excited to consume it. You want people to look and see you and be like, I want to be like that person, whether you're going to build a team, a brokerage, whatever it may be. Just be, a, be an inspirational type character and go that route. All right, so some apps and some supplies. Some apps you can use are Canva, Photoshop, and Hyperlapse. Those are really good with capturing, creating content, and Canva is completely free, so is Hyperlapse. Uh, supplies, you need to start building a database, and the way that you do that is you can use a spreadsheet, you can use your notes in your phone, as well as your calendar. You don't have to go sign up for this super expensive CRM or anything like that. What you want to start doing is you want to start writing down notes and capturing information from people, name, email, phone number, jot down little things about them that you learned along the way in your conversation with them. So that way you can put notes and when you go down your database again, you can check in and say, oh, I met Tim. He was a manager at Home Depot. He had been there for 20 years. He's thinking of renovating his house. When you check in with Tim, you could be like, hey, how'd that home renovation go? He'd be like, oh man, how do you remember that? because you got it in your database. Use Google Spreadsheets, it's completely free. So that way you can at least have a place to where you can put all that information into. So now, that's connect, that's create. Now let's go the close. This is that low hanging fruit. This is the place that you know that you can always go at any time to immediately find motivated people. And the way that you do that is, well, one, you hop on Zillow, you hop on for sale by owner.com, you go to Fizbo's, Expires, and even Facebook Marketplace. And we're going to talk about OPP, and that's the secret squirrel stuff. That's like the, uh, the low-key things that you can actually take business from other people. I'll talk that in a second. So Facebook, and Expi or Facebook uh, Fizbo's, and Expires. Facebook, I keep saying Facebook, Fizbo's. You're going to go to Zillow, you're going to scroll down, you're going to find the, the owner's information. Same thing with expired. You can use Red X, you can use other things that actually pull that. And go ahead and just reach out to them and use your normal scripts. Something that I like to do with Fizbo's is basically, I want to go after the ones that have been listed for 30 to 45 days. 
because those are the ones that have actually not sold yet and they might be getting a little bit discouraged and they're like, all right, we'll give it a try. Now they're actually open to the option of listing it with the real estate agent. So those are the best ones. Reach out to those people, 30 to 45 to 60 day timeline. Even if it's longer, that's even better. But I'm just saying when they start mentally getting prepared, is that 30 to 45 day sweet spot. So reach out to them, send them a text, and just say, hey, just seeing if your house is still available. If it is, be like, great. I just wanted to reach out and see if you're open to working with a realtor to get your home sold. Is that an option to you? And then when they say yes or no, and then most likely they'll say yes, be like, great. Anything other than commission as there, or is, all right, let me dial this back. I would basically say if they're like, yes, I'm open to working with an agent, be like, great, other than commission, is there any other reason why you wouldn't list with a real estate agent? And the reason you want to do that is you want to start extracting their objections and then you want to pinpoint and go in and tackle that objection, whether it's I know somebody or all real estate agents suck or I can't use a realtor because I can't afford it because I don't have equity. Whatever it is, you then attack that, overcome it, and then you basically want to set up a time to talk to the person and meet them in person because you're not going to close them on the phone unless they're desperate. You're basically going to be like, hey, great. Does that all sound good to you? I'd love to tell you a little bit more about exactly how I'm going to solve X, Y, Z for you. I'd love to come and just spend about 30 minutes to an hour doing a presentation. Maybe say 15 minutes to get your foot in the door and just be like, look, five to 10 minute presentation. That way it doesn't take up too much of your time and I can tell you all the options that you have available to you and show you exactly how I can get you from A to B. Basically, that's kind of what you want to do is you want to do that, do it as many times as possible and it's a numbers game and you'll convert about one to two percent out of every 10 just using that method. It just works like clockwork. So Facebook Marketplace, same thing. Reach out to people, do the same script. Say, hey, is your house available? Go straight to the point attack their, um, their, the thing holding them back from actually listing or working with the realtor, and then go from there. Uh, OPP, this is something other people's post. What I like to do with this, or I used to do with this, and this is something that you can do if you're really, really either desperate or you really want to get business right away, or even if you see other people are dropping a ball and you want to pick it up. So what you basically do is you go to your Facebook uh, business profile and you go to insights and then you're going to scroll down and you can follow other people's business pages that are like yours. And what you're going to do is you're going to follow the top people in the area or top people that get a lot of engagement and content and that are constantly posting to it and you want to, you want to follow them. And then basically like once a week or, or every day, it doesn't matter, you can go to their page and then it shows you every single post that they're actually posting, which one is getting a ton of engagement, and then you can click on it and it opens up that actual live post. And then you can see all the people having a conversation within there. And the reason this is helpful is simply because of the fact that most of the time, people tag people that they know in these posts. So then you're able to message that person that was tagged and you can say this little script that basically goes, Hey, I saw you were recently tagged in a post on or a real estate post. Okay, let me back it up. Let me dial it in. Uh, hey, I saw that you were recently tagged in a post on a real estate page. Is this because you're actively looking for a home or was that an accident? Something along those lines. I'm trying to think of my exact script I used that worked really well. I saw that you're, what I normally do is if someone's tagged on mine, I say, hey, I noticed you were tagged on my real estate page. Is that because you're actively looking for a home? question mark and then basically they'll respond back yes or no I did this a number of times and it always was like a 50-50 uh, percentage the majority would say yes and about 30 percent of those would give me their criteria and you instantly have buyers to work with so you're welcome on that little tip so reach out to them and just they'll probably be like yeah I'm looking for this 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 and this and you'll be like perfect what's a good email for you I'll start sending you some properties your way or do you have time to hop on the phone? I'd love to get a little bit more insight of exactly what you're looking for and when you'd like to be there. Start working on that relationship. That's all you gotta do. Uh, the OPP, I keep going back to that. Uh, so then you can sit there and pay attention to what other real estate agents are doing in your area and you can see what posts are getting a lot of traction, which ones are getting a lot of engagement and views and shares. And then you can basically copy that. You can say, okay, 
I notice that when they share the style of homes and do this style of caption and they post at this time, it gets more engagement. And then you can start implementing it in your basic workflow that we talked about earlier. So you can sit there and see what's working in your current area, replicate it, and then start implementing it and then scale it from there. That's what I did to build my brand is I basically looked at real estate agents all across the country, the top performing agents, and then saw what they were doing, the style of video they, they were doing, how they were posting, what they were saying, and then took that, implemented it, and then kind of made it my own and created my own style with it. So I had highly encourage you to do that, especially if you're just getting started or you need something fresh or you want to get out of a rut. Uh, and that actually concludes this entire video. So I can only hope that this has been valuable. If so, please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear more about it and other uh, videos that you would like to see more of. And uh, I look forward to your feedback. So thanks for watching. I hope you have a good day.